Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a very hot topic and very highly requested. So today we're talking all about supplemental collagen. So that would be collagen that you take either as like a powder form or capsules and you're taking it orally as part of your diet. So if you're interested to learn about the skincare effects of taking oral collagen, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm just gonna start by covering like what is collagen. So collagen is a protein. It is the main structural protein in the extracellular matrix, in connective tissue, uh, things like cartilage and in your skin. And there's a bunch of different types of collagen. I think they've now found like 28 different types, but I'm mostly gonna be talking about uh, type one, which is present in your skin. So collagen is made up of mostly glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. And these are all non-essential amino acids that your body can actually make itself. You can also get them from your diet. But it has been found that for most mammals actually, the amount of these um, essential amino acids is not exactly adequate and it is good to be supplemented um, from your diet for these non-essential amino acids as well. So because collagen is made by mammals um, and some other animals like fish and birds, that's kind of the best source to get it. So you can get it from things like cows, chicken, fish, if you're vegan, uh, legumes such as soy and tempeh do also have the essential, sorry, the non-essential amino acids that would make up collagen. And so these are good dietary sources of those non-essential amino acids to kind of boost the amount that you have within you and promote healthy collagen biosynthesis. So there is a lot of uh, kind of randomized, double-blind placebo studies done on oral collagen supplementation. And generally, collagen supplements are going to be made up of hydrolyzed collagen. So this is going to be peptides and dipeptides, which is basically... So collagen is like a huge protein molecule, and they hydrolyze it, which basically chops it up into little small peptide chunks that can be uptaken in your digestive uh, tract and then it goes into your bloodstream and it can go to the places that it needs to, like in your joints and to your skin. So there's a ton of clinical trials and there's a great review that was done in 2019. So I will link that study or that review of many studies down in the description box below if you want to do a little bit more digging and kind of see how they do these trials to look at the effects of oral collagen supplementation on the skin. But to kind of summarize those findings, there has been really promising results with short-term and long-term use of collagen supplements on both the skin and wound healing. So it has been proven to really improve skin elasticity and also lessen uh, wrinkle depth. Oral collagen supplements have also been shown to improve hydration. So I guess the big question really is like, should I take an oral collagen supplement? And that is totally up to you. I think that if you're not eating a lot of meat or fish or eggs or dairy, um, you could definitely benefit from taking a collagen supplement to improve um, the skin's elasticity and just the overall collagen density in your skin and hydration and all the things that I mentioned before. But if you do have a really well-balanced diet and you're eating a lot of meat and you're eating a lot of eggs and dairy, then you're probably fine without taking an oral collagen supplement. Now there is a lot of different types of oral collagen supplements. Um, they will all be hydrolyzed collagen, but they have different sources. So kind of the main one is from bovine sources or like cows. Um, that's a really popular one. They also do have some vegan versions that would come from legumes such as soy, lentils, uh, and things like that. So it really comes down to personal preference. And if you do find that your skin is losing its elasticity and you're experiencing a lot of wrinkles, you might benefit from taking an oral collagen supplement. Now I know I'm gonna get this question in the comments pretty much asking me what collagen supplement I recommend. Because um, I'm not gonna recommend you to take any dietary supplements, I am not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a naturopath, so I'm not gonna make those recommendations. It's really up to you to do your own research, talk with your physician, and see if that's right for you. And of course, you know, if you are vegan or vegetarian, you're gonna opt for something that is a vegan or vegetarian source versus um, most of them come from bovine, which is like the bones from cows, basically. 
There also haven't been many side effects um, associated with collagen supplementation, so it is regarded as like safe. Um, some side effects, which I find a little interesting, is like uh, a bad taste in your mouth, or sometimes people do get a little bit of indigestion. Um, but I would recommend taking your collagen supplements with food, like most dietary supplements, um, you know, are recommended to take with food, just to avoid any upset stomach or kind of indigestion associated with a large amount of anything going into your body. So that is pretty much it about oral uh, collagen supplementation. It is pretty simple. It is pretty tried and true. There is a ton of clinical data that is good, like up to good standards. So it's randomized, double blind, placebo controlled studies um, involving humans, and they have really shown promising results. So if you are curious about taking a collagen supplement, I would say, you know, after talking with your physician, then uh, decide if it's right for you but there is a lot of results saying that it could be beneficial to just, again, improve overall skin elasticity, hydration, and increase the density of collagen in your skin. I am gonna do a video on topically applied collagen, but that is a little bit more complicated, and I thought I would just kind of cover the more popular questions that I have, which is surrounding oral collagen supplementation. All right, that's pretty much all I have to say about collagen. Um, again, I will link that review study down in the description box below. So with review studies, um, they will have references to all of the primary literature, which means the studies that actually did those trials with humans. Um, and then you can really check out how they did that, you know, how many patients, where it was done, how it was performed. And I do find that very interesting. So if you're into science literature, then I definitely recommend checking out this review and looking at the references and learning more about how these trials are done. P.S. I know I'm going to get this question, so I will just answer it now. I don't take a hydrolyzed collagen supplement. Um, I do eat a lot of fish and eggs, so I feel like I'm kind of okay there and I don't really feel like I need it at this point in my life. My skin is very supple and soft and I don't experience deep wrinkles. Um, I have good skin hydration, so it's just not something that I've incorporated into my routine. So I just wanted to cover that because I know I would get a question about if I'm taking an oral collagen supplement and I'm just not, so there's that. <laughs> All right, that is it for me today. I am filming a lot of videos, so please leave all your video requests down in the comments below, or you can also send me a DM on Instagram, at Kenna Whitmill. And if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to be a part of this amazing family of science babes that we have on here. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me.